most of the depression and everything was all in my head. And I just felt, oh my God, I didn't know what to do because I never knew about mine or anything like that. I had a bereavement in December. My sister died and she was the one that brought me up after my parents died. I was quite young. They, they died within nine months of one another. When you're sick, it, I think you look at life different. I felt extremely anxious, quite alone, um, unable to deal with things. And I was losing interest in things that I enjoyed doing because I wasn't spending time with my friends and family. I just wanted to drive my car into the wall. I just couldn't face going on much longer. OCD controlled me into thinking irrational thoughts and made me upset. Felt that I wasn't in control. I was totally withdrawn from a lot of things. I wasn't the same person at all. I thought my world was coming to an end. I didn't know where to turn to. If I saw somebody going down the road, how many people would have mental problems? There'd be more than you'd realise. And you think, they don't look as if they've got a problem, but it's not a sign that you've got on your head. It, it's something that's there. You can't look at a person and make an assumption. Yeah, it took over my life and made me being extremely worried, not being fully in the situation. So I was spending a lot of time at home, so becoming really down, feeling like I was alone in, in dealing with it. And it's not like a broken leg where you know in six weeks time the cast's gonna come off and you're gonna be able to walk again. Sitting indoors for me was a lot of it. A lot of my problem was socialising and CBT recognised that. They sent me to counselling to help me and while I was going to counselling they then referred me to mine. I heard about mine, my GP referred me um, when, I, when I went to him to explain that I was feeling very anxious and I didn't know what to do, he referred me to mine to, to come and have a consultation to see what, if they could help me. Went to my local doctor, saw the nurse practitioner who said they were getting in touch with Bexley Mind. The initial contact from Mind was a telephone assessment to see if there was anything they could do to help me. Feeling a bit less anxious, so how have you managed to... It wasn't with? difficult at all to speak with the counsellor. The appointments were made and I found them so good to deal with. With their experience of dealing with so many different types of anxiety, stress, etc., mental health problems, the counsellor showed a lot of empathy and understanding. She treated me as an individual. She treated me with respect. It wasn't sort of a teacher-pupil thing. It was somebody having a discussion, somebody who wanted to help me. It wasn't judgmental at all. There was empathy there. It's a process, but it's a personal process. I always felt in control. They seemed to understand how I was feeling, and they asked me questions that would identify the problems that I was having and what we could do to come up with some solutions. They then identified how appropriate it would be for me to have CBT on a one-to-one -one basis, and then I attended workshops to prepare me for this. They find out who you are, what you are, and what we can do to help you. They measure everything bit by bit and then fix it. From your head to your toe, they look after every part of your well-being. If it wasn't them, I probably would be in dead by now. Well, they gave me my life back. I can't tell you how that feels. When I used to walk down Bexley coming down here, I used to feel like I'm in a bubble, but now that bubble is gone and I can actually see the beauty around. But if I look back nine short months where I was then to where I am now, my life is where I want it to be. I feel like I can achieve some of the goals that I want to achieve and that the OCD isn't the main part of my life anymore. All those things what mine put together, it helps me to feel happy in myself, more confident in myself. It is local and it's convenient. It, it's reassuring to know that uh, that is actually in the community. Oh, I don't, I, I, you couldn't pay for that. You couldn't have, there's not enough money in the world to pay for something like that.
I see myself having a bright future now. Um, I can go and do the things that I want without obsessing over my worries. I haven't been back to see the doctor. Mine has replaced all that. Um, I don't know where it would be, where I would have to go. It would be good to know that it's around to help other people the way it's helped me.